Oh, listen to that sound. This place coming unglued. Chris Hero hits the ring, and he and Kevin Steen slugging it out. Steen had a mystery opponent tonight, and that mystery opponent is Chris Hero. Oh, Chris Hero just laying in shots to Kevin Steen on the floor. I'm not even sure this match has officially started. I haven't heard the bell ring. No one was expecting Chris Hero, least of all Kevin Steen. And these two guys do have a, a long history together, but when you're, when you're caught off guard like that, no amount of history can make up for the, the surprise, the shock that Kevin Steen must be feeling right now. Yeah, Kevin Steen playing the catch-up game. But he's as good as anyone at doing it. Now, Steen laying in some right elbows to, to Chris Hero's face. They are on the far side of the building, so it's a little, little tough for us to see the action. The crowd on their feet here. Back. Oh, oh! Super kick by Hero. And Hero is such a, such a tall, rangy individual that he can kick you from almost anywhere. And now just raining down punches. This match still not officially underway. Oh! The rolling elbow catches Steen right on the chin. And Chris Hero has arrived in quintessential pro wrestling. But this is still a regular match, which means Chris Hero cannot beat Kevin Steen on the outside. He needs to get him in. Was that an homage to Dusty Rhodes? I think it was. I mean, technically speaking, he can't beat him until the bell rings. <laughs> so, oh! Hero going face first. Dust the elbow, if you will. If you will. <laughs> oh! Kevin Steen going face first in that ring post. And Hero, the running boot, double boot to the face of Steen. Hero's a good 6'3", 6'4". Deceptively strong and deceptively agile. Really yeah. as agile as anybody half his size. Oh, Steen just going into that cinder block wall right here in front of us. Gets the boot up though. And now Hero goes with face first into the wall. <laughs> Hero is a real student of the game. Learn every style there is. Oh. And Steen, Wrestling Observer Brawler of the Year for three years in a row. Is that right? I believe so. And he's not, I mean, he's perhaps the last person I would pick to brawl against. But Hero looking to jumpstart him. And it was working out well for him until they got to this side of the building. And now things going against uh, Chris Hero. Ooh. Hero using those long legs of his to catch Steen on the chin with that boot and then fires in a hard right hand to the head of Steen. And he's got that cravat in there. Rick Knox forcing the break because Steen was on the ropes and now Steen backs him off with that hard chop. Ooh. Close lines in the corner. Hero's got nowhere to go and that elbow takes him off his feet. Steen hits the ropes, leapfrog by Hero. Steen up and over, dropkick, takes the big man down. Just a grazing blow there, but it was enough to disorient Kevin Steen. But he may be playing possum. Steen I does. it. Yep, Steen gets the boot up. And I mean, you've been in the ring with both of these men, so you know each other very, very well. And Steen and Hero, both students of the game, using uh, using all the tricks in the book and some that aren't even listed. Absolutely. And most times when I'd wrestle Chris Hero, it would start out technically, eventually would break down. But with Kevin Steen, right from the bell, it broke down right away. That's just Kevin Steen's MO. I remember wrestling him in Canada, nearly breaking his back, him diving off the top rope to the outside, nearly breaking my back. Oh, look at this, Steen! Whoa. A little bit of big boss man here in Monrovia. Who's the man? Who's the big boss man? Kevin Steen is. Yeah, you, I mean, you nailed it. Uh, it. Just as Chris Hero nailed that drop kick to the face, but Steen with the stop to the back of the head. Kevin Steen is just is just brutal violence, whereas Chris Hero is technical violence. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. Matt. What did he say there? I didn't catch that. Did Did, you? Didn't catch it, but it, 
<laughs> I'm not sure that. Uh, all right, I think that that gentleman in the crowd was was emasculated a little bit by Kevin Steen. <laughs> Oftentimes it seems Kevin Steen is fighting with the crowd just as much as he is fighting with his opponent. It's a full world experience with Kevin Steen every time he walks through the curtain. Steen stepping on the throat of Chris Hero. Despite how this match started, it is, as you mentioned, just a regular singles match contested under normal singles match rules. So Rick Knox enforcing all the rules here found in quintessential pro wrestling. Oh, shoulder to the jaw. Went for the that boot through the ropes, and oh, Steen catches him low. Kind of pulled his hamstring there. Brings him over the top, hook of the leg. Two count only. It's an interesting moniker, isn't it, Kevin Steen's Mr. Wrestling. Mr. Oh. Wrestling, yeah. That, it's, and it's actually uh, a nickname given to him by the fans in Montreal, his home, his home ser territory. And because when a young Kevin Steen, uh, 10, 12 years ago, uh -huh. was one of the best technical wrestlers in the Montreal area. Wow. Uh, and quite a, quite a divergence in the path of technical wrestling, That's but well still right holding on to that nickname, Mr. Wrestling. There's that agility we mentioned before. Kevin Steen pointed out that Chris Hero almost took out the chandelier. Chris Hero saying, good thing I didn't. Now, Hero cuffs him with that elbow to the, to the ear. Steen gets the boot up. Hero, though, with a boot of his own. And the, Steen goes down. Two count only. Those boots are such a big part of Hero's arsenal, aren't they? And he, and he, he can hit you with them from anywhere. As we saw, he just snakes it through the through the top and the middle rope. He 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 does a, a discus yakuza kick. Oh, look at the inside cradle by Steen. I'm not sure I've seen anybody other than Chris Hero do a discus yakuza kick. Right. Hero, uh, Hero re wrestling out of the cravat, man. Yeah, very smart wrestling by Kevin Steen, showing a little bit of his technical proficiency. But oh, I got it with the cravat from the middle rope. Oh, Steen kicks out. And that was close. Very close. Kevin Steen yeah. very disoriented by that, and Chris Hero could be closing in on a victory here. Looking for the knockout, perhaps. That's right. Chris Hero gone through quite a few monikers, but most recently the young knockout kid and. You know, as we alluded to earlier, that technical level of violence, he he has pinpoint accuracy with those elbows and with those kicks, whereas Kevin Steen is just all over the place and just wears his wears his opponent down with an barrage. Oh! Stunner by Kevin Steen! One, two, no! Oh! And that was just as close as the prior pinfall. Kevin Steen taking... Chris Hero on a trip to the Broken Skull Ranch, only getting a two count, though. Well, I don't know. Do you think Kevin Steen had a strategy coming in here? What strategy could he have not knowing who his, partner, who his opponent was? I, I, think, I think his opponent was just to go out there and kick ass. And he's doing a good job of it, but when you got oh. somebody as tough as Chris Hero. Hero with that big right jab, staggers Steen. You saw him going for that package pile driver. But Hero using those accurate strikes and Steen just clubbing Hero. The bicycle. Murdered him. Folded him in half with that power bomb. Watch out, Cannonball! Oh. Oh. I used to hate that every time he hit me with that damn near knocked me out. 250 pounds of Kevin Steen just coming crashing right on you. And it's, it's, it's there's no way to predict where he's gonna land when he comes in with that. It could be your face, could be your chest. You just have to close your eyes and hope for the best. I always remember every time I was in there, I was doing my best to try and protect myself. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd catch him coming in the last minute. I knew I couldn't move. A super kick taking here off his feet. Two count again for Steen. And that, that really is the worst, Nigel, when you know something's coming. Oh. Where's he no, going? Steen going to the back. I was going to say, you know, when you know something's coming, but you, you realize you don't have the time, you don't have the ability, move, yeah. the strength to move. You, you just, you just got to grit your teeth and, and, and endure it. And sometimes that's lights out for you. Well, I don't know where Kevin Steen's gone, but I guess when you got to go, you got to go. Rick Knox given, I, I believe, the 10 count here in Quincy Central Pro. That's a three count. Not sure where Kevin Steen's at. Kevin Steen's around here somewhere. I'm sure he's listening to that count. At a five now. I don't know what he's going to come back with. It better be a gun because he's giving Chris Hero all the time in the world to recuperate. And Hero, look, look Hero's even, even confused. That's nine. What on earth? Oh, my God. Kevin Steen in the Young Bucks gear. Oh, catches here with a super kick and only gets the two count. The Montreal Buck. The young fuck, can I say that? Yes, you I can, know. I believe so. <laughs> and uh, Chris Hero, of course, in Pro Wrestling Gorilla, part of the Mount Rushmore Wrestling Group with Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Champion Adam Cole and world tag team champions, the Young Bucks. Oh, he's, he's setting Hero up for more back for your buck. Well, he doesn't have the agility of, uh, of Nico or Matt, but. Oh. Ooh. Went up for the 450 splash, took a little too long. Hero had a chance to recover. And Steen oh, there just it eats is. that discus Yakuza kick. One, two. Now Steen able to kick out. Well, I don't know about this, Excalibur, but I have to say that was probably a bad strategy. A terrible strategy. A terrible strategy. <laughs> oh, we may have spoken too soon. Rolls him up. The backslide hero goes through. Mahi Straw. No, no Steve puts the brakes on. All his oh, weight on Chris that. Hero's chest, and Kevin Steen steals one. Wow. Kevin Steen. Absolutely steals one from Chris Hero. A hugely impressive victory. I eat my words, the young fuck.